Hey guys, Scott Craig here. Um, so for Monday Motivation, I want to share with you something that's been on my heart. Um, you know, God gave me a scripture that I've really been clinging to for about the past year, year and a half, and it was Matthew chapter 19, verse 28 and 29. And what, what Jesus is saying there is, and it basically says, whatever you lose for my sake, and this is Jesus telling this to, uh, to people, to us, is whatever you lose for my sake, I'm going to restore. Um, whether you lose father, mother, your job, your children, your spouse, whatever you forsake for me, I'm going to restore. I'm going to give it back. And he's not just going to give you back what you restore or what you've lost. He's going to give it back a hundredfold. Um, we may not get it back here. Okay, so what, what he restores to us, we may not get back here in, in this life. We may get it back in eternity. Okay, that's his choice. He gets to choose how he gives it, gives it to us and when he gives it to us. But what I want to share with you is, is eternity. Um, you know, the Christian life can at times be extremely brutal. Um, as we become fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ and we lay down ourselves to take up the cross of Christ, um, he tells us, we know this in Scripture, we're going to suffer a lot of what Christ suffered. Um, you know, whether it's divorce, whether it's betrayal, um, deceit, deception, a lot of these things come at us, um, but we're told don't be shocked, right? If we're going to follow Christ, we're going to experience some of, some of the trials, some of the suffering that Christ endured. And within that, why? You know, what keeps us there? You know, we hear about faith. You know, keep your faith, keep your faith. And we do. We need to keep our faith. But faith is tied to something else. Faith has to be tied to hope. Um, if you just have faith, and, and I'm not trying to demean that, but if it's just about faith, then that's theology, right? It's faith, but faith in what? Yeah, faith in Jesus Christ, but it's faith in the hope, the hope that we have. Because here's the thing, as bad as it gets, and, and guys, I've been going through a lot. Um, I started this journey. I, I had my encounter with Jesus in October of 2015. My life changed. My, my life has been transformed as I be become someone that wants to fully devote my life to Jesus Christ and, and falling in love with who He is. And when that happens, and, and you've heard this, you know, if you're part of True North and you've been to base camp and you've been to some of the environments that God allows us to create, is you're going to have an enemy that's going to come against you. Uh, Satan does that. Satan's whole mission is to keep you from Jesus Christ. It's to keep God's kids from Him. Um, so the Christian journey is, is going to get brutal. It gets really brutal sometimes. Um, like I said, I can't go into the details of, of what's going on in my life right now, but it's been, it's been a rough road. It's been a long, long journey, and it's not over. But why? What's, wh why are we doing this? It's for eternity. It's for the promise, the promise that God gives us of being able to spend eternity in heaven. And, and heaven isn't this place that we go up to. It's not this, this place in the clouds that we're never going to see, or not that we're never going to see, but it's maybe a misunderstanding of, of what heaven really is. Heaven is, is God coming to live with, earth, with us. It's the restoration of all things and the renewal of all things. And the other thing that I'll share with you is something that God has just brought up over and over and over in the past couple of weeks is Revelation chapter 21, verse 5. And in that... Again, Jesus is saying, is, is I'm going to renew all things. I'm going to make your life as it was meant to be. Um, and so that's what we've got to hold on to. That is, that is what we're doing this for. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. I'll be honest with you. Mentally, physically, I would not be where I'm at right now if I didn't understand that I'm promised eternity. All the suffering that happens right now, everything that you're going through, right now, whatever you're going through, again, if it's, if it's a divorce, if it is betrayal from someone who is extremely close to you, sickness, loss of a job, loss of something, it can be brutal. And yes, faith, maintain your faith. But what are you maintaining your faith for? You're looking to the hope that you have in eternity. You're looking to those promises that what happens here, what happens right now in this life, in the grand scheme, this is finite, okay? This is gonna to come to an end. Your trials, your sufferings, there's an end to it, okay? And the end is in eternity, which is infinite. 
it's a, just, man, guys, it's just a little bit. And when you're in it right now, it, it hurts. It sucks. It's not fun, right? But God says, stay in there. Be victorious. In victory, you join me in eternity. In victory, you get to sit with me on the throne forever. We're his heirs, sons and daughters, heirs to the kingdom. It's worth it. Stay in it. As bad as it gets, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give up. Because we're guaranteed eternity if we don't, if we stay in this, if we stay victorious, because God says, you're victorious because you're my son. You're my daughter. You have the victory. Maintain the hope. Don't lose sight of that. Okay? It can be brutal. It can be tough. It is not fun at times. But God also says, I will work all things together for my good. And guys, I'm telling you, I hate to say this, I'm human. If it hadn't been for all that I've gone through, again, I hate to admit it, I don't know if I'd be as close to God as I am right now. I don't know if I'd be able to have a smile on my face, do this with you guys, if I didn't know what's promised. My reward is, is eternity with Jesus Christ. He tells me, whatever you, Scott, whatever you forsake for me, I'm going to restore. And I'm not just going to restore what you lost. I'm going to restore it a hundredfold. That's Matthew. Okay? Matthew 19, 28, 29. And he tells us again in Revelations 21, 5. So, here's what I leave you with. If, man, take some time. Spend some time in Revelation. Spend some time in Isaiah. Know what you're doing this for. Don't give up. Don't give up. I've wanted to. Trust me, I've wanted to give up. Don't. Okay? You have to maintain the hope. Hope is what gives you the faith to stick with it, to stick with with following Jesus Christ. Guys, don't give up. Eternity awaits. Okay? I want to see you there. God's going to tell our story. He's going to tell about our lives. He's going to tell us how things are supposed to be. Right? We get to go back to Eden. We get to go back to what God intended for His creation, for us as His kids. Whatever you're going through right now, I'm right there with you. (laughs) It's not fun. It hurts. But it's just for a moment. Okay? It's just for a moment. And it can feel like eternity right now. I've been there. It's felt like eternity. God, when's this going to be over? It's going to be over when my life here is done. But it's not over. What's over is the suffering. What's over is the pain. What's over is, the, is all of the evil. I'm promised and you're promised eternity with Christ where all the pain is gone, all the tears are gone, and it's joy, it's peace, it's fellowship with our God and our Creator and God lives with us and we live with Him. That's what you're doing this for. Don't lose sight of that, okay? Commit that to your heart. Bring that in. Receive that. Encounter that, okay? I'm going to see you in heaven. Don't give up. God bless.